Hello guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio and today we will learn how to jump with our player. First I want to explain idea how we want to do this. Um, we want to make an object that will be child of our player and then place it between his legs. Then uh, this child object will make a circle around itself and uh, check every frame if our ground is inside that circle. So if it is, then we are on the ground and we can jump. So uh, let's uh, make our child object. Create, create empty child. Okay, let's uh, change icon here and move it move it down okay now let's go to our script and um, we will check if we are on the ground so we need true or false for that we will use bool public bool let's call it grounded okay also, I need another input and I will use a jump input. Uh, it is right here. You can also make uh, your input uh, by changing uh, size here and it will create new input and you can customize it, but uh, jump is okay for now. Now let's uh, create public out jump. Okay, and like horizontal, let's call it every frame in our update function. Input dot get axis row jump. Okay. Uh, now I need uh, a couple more things uh, and I will explain them in just in a second. So we need a public uh, layer mask. What is ground? Okay, we need a public float. Uh, ground radius and we need public transform ground point okay let's save this and let's go back to unity so here you can see our, our layer mask and you can choose water, everything, uh, default or any layer you want. We need ground la uh, layer. So uh, we will make a ground layer. Go to add layer here and make ground layer. Ground. Okay. And we can select this. And now we want to set uh, our ground to ground layer okay then uh, we want uh, our radius so it will make a circle around this object uh, with radius 0 0.1 or 2 it needs to be small okay Also, we need to set the ground point to our child object like this, and we can rename this uh, ground point. Okay, nice. Now we need to check every frame are we on the ground so grounded that is our ball 
physics 2d dot overlap circle okay that will make circles around our um, object and this object is ground point so ground point dot position okay so we want a radius and this will be our ground radius ground radius okay and we we need to tell um, unity what will be our ground it will be our what is ground layer mask and we set this to ground so now when i press play this grounded uh, will be true when a player falls down now it's false okay let's click play and see when uh, he uh, stands on the ground he is grounded okay that works now we will make a function jump like move or it jump and similar to move rb dot velocity equals new vector 2 now we we don't want to change x so rb dot velocity dot x x will be uh, the same and here we want to use jump input so jump times jump force so let's make uh, public uh, here let's make public float jump force okay and now if we call our function fixed update okay i call it every frame it won't work properly okay uh you'll see let's make jump force five our uh, speed five and okay let's click play and see how player falls slowly so we don't want that uh, we want to say here if statement so if we are grounded grounded then we want this okay and now okay now it's much better Okay, now it works. Oops, but here we have one problem, and this uh, is with our rigid body, so we need freeze rotation. So freeze rotation on Z, and now player won't flip like that. Okay, I need to do this uh, while not playing okay and now we can jump so i hope you understand this in the next episode we will learn how to flip our player and animations don't forget to like share and subscribe and see you next week